Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. Today, we're doing Historic Domination, the packs that I got and the players that I pulled. We started off with Sean Bradley. I, I sold this man for 8k MT. I was pretty happy. I picked up Sean Bradley, started off in Historic Domination, picking up Sean Bradley, and he sold for 8k MT. That was a great start to this Historic Domination, and it gets a bit better as well. So, you know, his, I just want to talk about Domination and Historic Domination, because I've completed it now, and uh, I have some stuff to say. Domination, Historic Domination, I said it before, I'll say it again. We need to be able to pull Amethyst players. I mean, it doesn't matter how rare they are, how hard they are to get, which is pretty much the same thing, there should be a way where just a, a few people should be able to pull Amethyst players. I mean, how cool would it be? Just, you're one out of about 10 people to pull an Amethyst David Robinson or something crazy like that. And you're gonna see 2K cheesed me later on. I pull a player and I never even got to get the player. And uh, yeah, we get uh, Chuck Person right there. Not exactly who I was looking for. But, you know, historic domination is quite fun. But the fact that, you know, when you play a team like the Cavs, you can't get LeBron, so... There's like no point in playing, and this is, I was deciding, you know, I was deciding which pack to open, Atlanta or the Suns, and in the end, I actually lost the Phoenix Suns footage, I don't even know how, but I get two golds, and I pull Dominique Wilkins, I was pretty hyped, Dominique can throw it down, can shoot the mid-range a little bit, and he can play a little bit of defense as well, I was pretty happy to Pretty happy? Yeah, that's a great word. I was pretty happy with Dominique Wilkins. That was one of my best pulls. Well, I think it probably was my best pull that I got in Domination altogether. Dominique Wilkins, 95 defensive consistency, 98 driving dunk. His speed is crazy for a small forward. Dominique is just Dominique. And look at these stats. I mean, 99 tendencies for, for you know, majority of his uh, offensive game in terms of layup and dunk and... All this kind of stuff. Now, in the Pistons, I was hoping to get Ben Wallace. I pull Eldon Campbell. And then I get 20,000 MT, so it wasn't even too bad. But, uh, yeah, right here. I'm a Heat fan. Shaq. Okay. Alonso. Not even bad, but 2K, man. 2K. you got to put in the work. See, I put in more work than 2K. I create a Camelo Anthony. I put a picture on the screen right now. I made him with dreads. 2K couldn't even do that. Alonso Morning. You couldn't even make him bald. You had to put a flat top on him when he didn't even have a flat top for the Miami Heat in that year. I mean, 2K is lazy. They gotta, they gotta fix their game up with that kind of stuff. And uh, you know, it's pretty disappointing. 2K. If you, if you put plays in the game, make sure they're hundred percent accurate. All right. I want, like, I'm not hating on 2K because obviously I love their game modes and I, I love my GM, my team, all these kind of games. But I'm just saying the truth. 2K needs to put some more effort into creating players. I'm um, not even just creating players, just players that are in the game, putting more effort into the detail of these guys. Because you shouldn't put a throwback Dwight Howard with the same hair as what a current Dwight Howard has. Or you shouldn't put a throwback Mellow without dreads. I mean, it's just this kind of stuff. And, you know, Vince Carter. I I'm happy they put a Vince Carter in the game. But to be honest... He doesn't even really look like Vince Carter. He looks like some alien thing. And T-Mac, Tracy McGrady, they have him, a Toronto Raptors version of Tracy McGrady, but he looks exactly the same as the other Tracy McGrady, just with stats that are less. So, I don't really know. I think 2K needs to put more effort for NBA 2K16 in terms of this kind of stuff, because that is one, that's what's going to get fans and, uh, you know, just the 2K community more happy. They're just going to want to play the game. They're, they're going to want to pull or get these players like Carmelo Anthony or Dwight Howard. If, first of all, if they were less MT. Because they've they gone for like 600,000 MT. But uh, second of all, if they actually looked exactly like how they did back in, uh, in the card era. Now, I know Carmelo Anthony didn't just have the dreads in Denver. He also had just, you know, the shaved head. But wouldn't it be cool if you could play with a Carmelo Anthony with dreads? And so, yeah, like I said before, I did create one. So if you guys want to uh, play with him. And right here, I pulled Dennis Rodman. I thought I didn't even get Dennis Rodman. I didn't even get him. I looked in my Bulls franchise and 2K snaked me. They didn't even give me Dennis Rodman. So then I looked on the auction house 
and I couldn't even find the exact Dennis Rodman that I pulled. So I don't know. If you guys know how to fix this, or if you guys have had any problems like this, comment down below, because I wanted to get Dennis Rodman, I, I couldn't get him, I couldn't find him. But yeah, like I was saying, if you guys want to play with Camilo Anthony with dreads, um, just use the NS all-time roster. I'll leave a link in the description box below what, showing you guys, you know, how to download that roster. But, uh, yeah, it's updated now. And I pulled Chris Mullen. Pretty happy about that. He can replace Clay Thompson as my starting shooting guard. Um, because I had Clay Thompson in there for defense and shooting. And Chris Mullen doesn't have the defense of Clay Thompson, but he can shoot lights out. And then I pull the 76ers Mo Cheeks, which, uh, yeah, not too happy about that because... He's not the best, and he goes for like 2,000 MT. <laughs> then I pull Terry Porter, which I wasn't 100% happy about, but I mean, I'm not complaining. I get a Scotty Pippen, which is what you get after, the, after you know, you complete historic domination. The reward is an amethyst Scotty Pippen, which is pretty cool. He can shoot a little bit. You know his defense is on point, and his driving dunk is pretty good as well. And obviously the layup and all this kind of stuff is pretty good. Scotty Pippen, just an all-around player, really good player, 90, 90 driving down, that's pretty good. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, leave that like, subscribe if you're new, and if you guys want to see more videos, comment down below, like, subscribe, I'm out. Peace! Thank you for 35,000 subscribers! Yeah, I'll make a separate video for that, but I, I'm out. Peace!